Well, there's enormous opportunity for innovation. Uh, <clears throat> and therefore, I think uh, a number of initiatives that can be taken will give us a very different energy future. You know, one of the things that we've said in our Working Group 3 report is that if we want to keep temperature increase to below 2 degrees Celsius by the end of the century, then by the middle of the century, we would have to treble or quadruple low carbon or zero carbon energy supply using renewable sources. <clears throat> so, you know, that defines an opportunity for the whole world by which we can harness renewable sources of energy and low carbon sources of energy in a big way. These are the kinds of opportunities that would arise from action on climate change. Well, I've been part of the Prime Minister's uh, Advisory Council on Climate Change and you know, the Government of India has a National Action Plan on Climate Change which consists of eight different missions and the very first mission is the Solar Energy Mission where in the next 10 years we have targeted 20,000 megawatts of uh, solar energy capacity. I think for a company like Watsila to sort of look at the entire field of energy and see how you can come up with uh, more efficient ways of using energy also means by which you can use renewable sources. It seems to me it would be a very interesting set of challenges. For instance, you, you'll never have perfect information. The future is always fraught with some risk. And, you know, businesses are quite used to uh, making investment decisions under conditions of risk. And uh, in this case also, it's the same set of considerations. So, I think the corporate sector can really be an extremely important partner uh, in society, bringing about change in the right direction. Well, I think there are changes which will take place over different time spans. Some, as a matter of fact, can take place immediately. Yes. The technologies are available. Some may take a little longer, some will be longer term changes. But um, I think there again, you really have to see what are the choices that a particular country has. And where, let's say, you've got very high levels of inefficiency then some efficiency improvement measures can be implemented almost instantly. Um, others will take some time because you have to change infrastructure and investments and so on. So uh, I think a country will have to come up with a roadmap which gives you a pathway by which you move towards a sustainable energy future. I think it comes from the fact that, you know, human society has made changes on a large scale in the past. Uh, human society is also capable of uh, thinking out of the box, coming up with innovation that we can't even conceptualize at this point of time. So, overall, I think uh, we as a society have enormous uh, opportunities and also have several capabilities by which we can take action. And that's what gives me a sense of optimism.